it'd be awesome to fly a drone over a windmill and check it instead of just bouncing out in the pasture. All kinds of uses, checking pivots, checking cattle, checking water, uh, looking for storm damage after you had a bad storm to fly over everything to see if you had pivots down or, you know, yeah, very interesting. Hey Cody, yeah. what do you think about these guys outside in the uniforms? I have no idea. Uh, we had Robo Flight come out today to uh, fly some fields and do some work for us. Somehow I let them drop the ball and I forgot to let anybody know that Robo Flight was coming out today. That was probably my fault. I guess I we need to get back to having them team meetings if we weren't so damn busy. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Daniel. Cody. Cody called RoboFlight. Bruce gave us a call. I want to take a look at some of the stuff you guys got. Um, okay. You know, uh, if you want to take a look at our stuff, we'll tell you about kind of what we're doing. And, um, okay. We, as you can see, we got drones everywhere. I wish Bruce would have let me know. But um, basically, we've got camera systems on these that uh, can take a look at the crops in, in different, different spectrum than what we can see with our naked eye. And we can go and evaluate the health of them just by flying over the crops and taking pictures. So that's kind of what we're going to be out doing today. We've got some multi-rotor aircraft and got some fixed-wing airplanes that we're going to go fly. You guys might get a kick out of it if you want to come and take a look. Oh yeah. Sure. Get us away from working for a little bit. <laughs> there <right>. you go. <laughs> One thing that I would compare this technology to is uh, the auto steer, the GPS guidance in agriculture. You know, that came out about you know, five to ten years ago. Uh, it was slow for growers to adopt that. Um, eventually growers start to see the efficiencies of that technology and and now you know I would say a majority of farms have implemented that technology to some extent uh, I see this industry being the same way it's, it's slow at first but it's going to get there and I think it's going to get there very quickly probably in the next 10 5 to 10 years every farmer is going to have implemented it. Nice play down there turnkey solution to go out and, and collect data and uh, collect multiple images over a field and process that imagery into an ortho mosaic or just a multiple image map of the field where we stitch all the, the images together. And uh, with that imagery, uh, we're looking at the crops uh, in bands, spectral bands of light that are not visible to the human eye. And those spectral bands tell us a lot about what's going on as far as the health of the crop that we're mapping. Uh, so as a data processing company, we try to, to stand up partners to overfly fields in different geographical areas and then we process that data and turn it back around to the customer uh, in a short amount of time so that they can use that data to make management decisions on our farm. Yep. Your camera views yeah, and that's how you control it too. So the, the right side of the sticks here, that's your moving left to right okay. and then this is front to back and then the other stick you push it up to go up and bring it down to come down and then you've also got your yaw motion so as long as you're not touching anything it's going to stay right where it's at so take that right stick when i grabbed the controller he definitely did not want me to mess up and crash his uh, two thousand dollar drone he definitely explained everything thoroughly of where the red controller was my throttle and the green was my tilt and forward. And definitely something you could pick up and do pretty easy. Education is the biggest thing we can do right now with any new industry, educating the potential customers on how to best use the data, how to implement it into their operation. And that's what's going to get this product out there. And the efficiencies will, will show that the, the product pays for itself.
Thought they were the government, yeah. Be careful with that kind of word around here. <laughs> <laughs> so this type of system yeah. has a normal colored camera and that'd be very useful for flying over like a center pivot sprinkler yeah. and being able to see if you have any nozzles plugged. Well, thanks gentlemen, great stuff. Hey, absolutely, pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Code. Yeah, you better go get pick berries up and yeah, he'll be there. get back to work. I got some pivots to go check. You guys want to go so go sure. along and see what we can do? Let's yeah. check it out. All right, we'll, we'll bring something. Usually, when you go check the pivots, you got to pull in the pivot lane, do all that, drive all over. But with this, you just you got a group of four or five of them. You can just lift it up and check them all at once. Save you about half hour of driving, putting around. We got got one right up here to the north that was stuck this morning. We'll go see if it's stuck again or if it's still going. Okay, you ready? Yeah. On one of the, the aircraft we were flying today, we were actually flying over a, a center pivot uh, irrigation system, and we were able to quickly do an analysis of the whole irrigation system to see uh, any issues going on with, with that, that, that system. So if there was a, a blown sprinkler or if there was a, a, a tower that was stuck, we would have been able to see that and then we would have been able to know exactly where to, to send the, the troops to, to fix it. Riley, you'll be right back. Just got done. Probably some of the faster pivot checking I've had to do. Took the drone guys out and checked the pivots. Worked pretty good, pretty fast. Had one problem. Got it going pretty quick, not a big deal. Back here, waiting on Blake and Riley to get back. They're supposed to be fixing pivots, but I guess maybe they should have took the drone guys too. They're probably still somewhere out there, who knows. I'm not sure what pivots they had to check, but they should have been back here, I thought. But Checking pivot sucks. It's been a long, long day. and Well, we would have been done quicker, but Cody got the drone, so we had to walk in on foot and check the pivot, and we found the problem, so now it's fixed, but it would have been a lot easier if Cody would have let us use his drone but now we had to take at least three or four hours and fix it manually. Work took Cody, it sounded like 10 minutes, so lucky him. I think that drone technology is going to be awesome. And especially as being a cow man, I could see us using it to go find that one bull that we hadn't seen for a week or to go check water. You know, I could see us using it definitely for more reasons than just flying over crop fields. It'd just be like a big video, video game. Whoever's got the remote can fly all over here and there and everywhere. But I, the two guys you got were perfect. They were excited and got to do it. And, and Cody and Riley, they do an excellent job. So I'm glad that they got involved in that. Well, the technology from when my dad was farming is just night and day difference. If dad can see the equipment we're running now, and you know, the equipment we're running and how it's steering itself and how we can pick corn without steering, you know, you would just be at all. My uncles too. So if our kids see the changes Joe and I have seen, it's gonna be good, really good.